What's good everybody, it's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm gonna show you something I didn't know Ultra Beat could do right after this. Thanks for joining guys. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to show you something I didn't know Ultra Beat could do. I always looked at the uh, sequencer at the bottom half of Ultra Beat, but the look of it or something turned me off and I never really used it. As you know, in a lot of my tutorials, I use the uh, plain old MIDI regions um, in the timeline and then start creating my drum patterns like that. But I had some extra time, so I dug around and started playing around with the sequencer and I found out something it could do that really surprised me. So I wanted to share it with you guys. If you already knew about this, feel free to roast me in the comments. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, let's go ahead and listen to uh, some of the drum patterns here. I got a kick, clap, a couple percussion sounds, and I'm gonna change my view here to, uh, let's do 150, so you can have a better overview of everything. And uh, yeah, we'll start with a clap. Maybe we'll put the clap here on the nine and the 25. Um, using a 32 in length, and the resolution is a, a 1 16th. You can make it slower, 1 8th, or faster if you use 132, but let's stick with 1 16th. I'll leave the other uh, to default here. Okay, cool. So now if I want to add a kick, you know, I guess I could imagine where, uh, you know, the, the claps are. But it's kind of hard, right? I want to see everything in one view. So if I hit this full view, I can actually see all of the samples and where I placed them, which is super clutch. Never knew Ultra Beat actually had this, so this is super fire. Now I could start putting in my drum patterns nice and easy. Yeah, I mean, it's... Because I'm using Ultra Beat in a multi output, I'm uh, routing all of these sounds to uh, subgroups within my mixer. I did another tutorial that explained how you can utilize the multi output for Ultra Beat. I'll put a link in the cards as well as in the description. So if you want to check that out, it allows you to use one instance of Ultra Beat instead of multiple, um, as a, you know, I've done in the past and others as well. So with the combination of the, uh, the multi output, which means each sound gets routed onto one of these channel strips, as well as having the pattern uh, laid out like this for you. You really have no excuses to come up with some dope uh, drum patterns. If you have any questions, concerns, whatever it might be, put those in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell so you're notified anytime I upload some new content. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. My name is CJ. I'm out. Peace.